welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is in-game adventure Legend of Monsters. Normally 99 cents, purchased for 54. Well, the music's exciting, but there's not much else going on on this title screen. Let's look at the credits. Okay, that's good. Bless you, Morales. Moray's studio. Oh, oh god, it exploded. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's go. New game. Ooh. I like this animation. Well, art style, I guess. Yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> I just knew where that was. Okay, video game. Are you a good player? No. Now it says shift to run, but I can't help but notice shift is not running. Apparently run is just on by default. I wonder if this is randomly generated or if it's a set every time. Uh, I'm suddenly suspicious of this video game because I'm noticing a lot of similarities from other games that I have played. Ah, yeah. TNT. Oh, TNT. Oh, come on. There we go. Do mummies normally have guns? Is that a thing? Get in that door. Well, okay, strange man, if you insist. Yeah. Uh, I want something better. No, 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 no. Increase my maximum life? What is this? Add more ammo. Wait a minute. So, hang on. E. Okay, so it is randomly generated. Wait a second! Okay, first off, the level is very similar to what levels in Nuclear Throne look like. And the gameplay is also very similar to Nuclear Throne. What with what appear to be two weapon slots. And rapid running and gunning action. And yet, the health system, for example, and the store system is similar to something like Enter the Gungeon. Or, indeed, The Binding of Isaac. And yeah, those are pretty, you know, that's a pretty general thing to say. You know, the, these games are pretty similar in a lot of ways, but this appears to just be taking all its ideas from other games. Yes, I know. Okay, let's go back to the store. I want a better weapon. It does play okay, especially for 50 cents. Yeah, it plays totally fine, a little slow, but not in a bad way. But again, I'm left wondering, did they just, go in trying to rip off those other games? Or create the budget, you know, baby's my first roguelike? Even the ammo boxes are suspiciously similar to the ones from Nuclear Throne. I'm... I feel like I'm a detective now, just searching for connections. Wait a sec, what's going on over there? They see me, they don't see me. Oh, is there a stealth mechanic in this game? Again, for all this stuff I'm saying about it, for 50 cents, this is a pretty impressive game. So walking through these is similar to when you walk over things in a gungeon. Yeah, everything in this game is similar to another game. <laughs> I do really love uh, Enter the Gungeon. Binding of Isaac is fun. Uh, Nuclear Throne has its issues. Mostly with not updating. Where do I go now? Am I... Uh, is this the end? Oh, hi. You're gonna make me walk all the way over there, aren't you? I just can't shake the feeling that this is a wannabe game. Not a bad one, mind, but... Yep, there's the shotgun. Two weapon slots. It even fires almost identically to Nuclear Throne. And these... What the... Hang on! Okay, do you see how these weird frog things explode? That is identical to Nuclear Throne. Did I just hit them with the word empty? Maybe this will work? This didn't work, guys. So, the question is, is in-game adventure Legend of Monsters worth a dollar? Um, yes, with an asterisk. Taken as a game on its own, it is totally fine. For one dollar, I am totally getting my money's worth. It plays well, it looks nice, it even has nice hand-drawn art. Well, in the cutscenes, anyway. Yeah, there's a lot to like about this game. 
But, as someone who is a veteran of games such as Nuclear Throne, Enter the Gungeon, and Binding of Isaac, this game is blatantly ripping really all three of them off. Nuclear Throne the most. So, I don't know. If you just want to play a cheap, shooty roguelike, go ahead. But, if you want to play one that's better, you know, go with, you know, spend a couple extra bucks to go for the, uh, the nicer versions. This is essentially the dollar store roguelike. It's perfect for this show, what with the name and all. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more regular gaming content, including new episodes of Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, and 10 Things You Missed. Thanks again, I'm Brian J, and I will see you next time.